you know, does it all at one time. Now, you actually have to, you know, you have to go out, you got to buy pigs and you got to buy the BUSD, combine them together and then drop there. It just, it just, it, you only have to have just BUSD only to do the, uh, you know, if you get into the drip bar, you just go drip liberation, you dump in 500 bucks and it's going to split by drip and by BUSD tied together and give you the LPs. So, personally, I haven't heard of plans to do that, but it is something that um, people ask about. I think the default answer has been that you can go to the website and you can form it yourself, and that's a whitelisted contract, so you don't incur any um, any taxes on pigs or dogs for forming that LP. It would just be dogs because pigs only has 3% sale. But uh, that that could be something also to look at governance and to see if that could be among the options for the next steps. Of the team. It, I don't know specifics on contracts and solidity and everything like that. But but it's possible that it could. be somewhat simple grand scheme um, things. Yeah, and there's some that we can have voted on for the pig pen. Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and it might be a good thing to create proposals if you have, I think, anybody that has a stink pen can create proposals, right? Or actually the proposals go and it gets to BB and Forex, and then they decide, okay, we'll make it something that everybody can vote on. So, I know that's yeah, a whole step, options. but I don't think that's a lot of good. So, that answers your question. We'll go on to the next one and definitely keep that Kendrick this is and, and getting into drugs so they won't stop crying and shit basically no, you're not, you're not going to be able to stop people from feeling a certain type of way. Uh, only thing that's going to be able to help them with that is just time, in which everyone is kind of locked into the faucet anyway. So they'll see over time. Sentiment always goes up and down. We need You actually need people to feel that because when they do feel that type of way and price goes down, it gives a better price people. To right, actually come in and scoop coins up. So you need that flow because right now, or especially has smaller a smaller group of people that controlled a lot of coins. And so, so because of pullbacks, those whales or those people selling, it gave a chance for new people to want to come in and scoop some of those coins up. The supply get divided between more people being controlled by a certain percentage of people who have a lot of coins. So when price goes up, it allows those whales to want to, when price goes up, it makes those whales sell, cash out. FOMO happens. People love to come in and buy when price is up. But that's the time you want to actually be accumulating. You want to actually be accumulating. When price starts down, you start seeing downtrend. That's when you you start buying. Or if you're smart enough, you wait for specific support levels. We're at a great support level. 80. Yeah, look. 
the but when you look at the chart and you, you try to look, there, there really is no support at all. The only real support though is at let's say the range of eighty three to eighty nine. In that area between eighty and ninety, that's where it's some good support. So we're here now. So, so it has it's gonna retest those levels. It always does. When you break through a level, you go and you shoot to find where people are comfortable seeing the price go to. And that was like almost two hundred dollars, and people say, you know what, I should. So people started cashing out, and so now people are waiting and looking for. Okay, the where is this gonna stop? And the use of that stop is where the last breakout. Was, and that's in this range. And so it's the time to accumulate, even if you bought at levels. And so that now we have a lot of new people that have have more coins, but some of these people are only doing like one, two, three, four, five. Five coins. People aren't. There are some buying a hundred, two, three hundred. At the end of the day, the way you win in drip is getting as many coins as you possibly can in your deposits. It's not the price; it's as many coins as you can get in deposits. And so, right now, you can literally get a hundred coins. I've been telling people that's that's. The first goal is to get a hundred because at that point you're printing one new coin a day. And before when it was $140, I would have cost you $14,000. Now you can call to make one coin a day for like nine grand. So that's an opportunity. Look at it. They're going to wish. So all those people that were seen at a hundred dollars, they Wish they, that's what everybody's saying. Oh, I wish I got under 100 bucks, and now that it's here, they're, they're scared. But no, <laughs> this is your opportunity because all the coin down. So, yeah, that, that's what I would say for those people start buying a little bit at a time 20 there, 30 dollars there, and locking it up, up keep the compound and going because. Of the compounding nature of drip. Now that I'm under a hundred dollars, before we hit a hundred dollars, what my balance was in dollar value was a lot lower the first time we were in this range. It was nowhere where it was right now. Now that I'm back at this price range, because of the compounding I was doing the whole time. Back at eighty dollars, I'm it's like. <laughs> Balance is like triple what it was in value when we were at eighty dollars the first time because of the compounding. So I don't care that I'm back at 80, 90 bucks. That's because I'm generating so many coins today, and that's what you got to look at. Not the price. You got to look at trying to get as much coins as possible. You better pray that thing goes back to. Twenty dollars. Um, yep. You can always do a time lock anytime. So, like right now, let's say you have one LP token, and at that time, it's like just like two dollars. Yeah. So let's say you collect another twenty dollars, and that's one LP, right? Then you can take that one twenty dollars for. So you're not remember your stakes are always locked. What we're talking about is the rewards. So your rewards for that twenty six dollars, if you go for sixty days, you won't be playing for six rewards. But that, that extra bonus is added to your principal, which is actually making your principal more than twenty six dollars because you're getting money out of your principal as a bonus. So whatever money it gets added to your principal. But you can only lock that. You can't lock the stuff that you deposited. No, your deposits. Okay, so if you're in the garden, gardens. Okay, so in the drip garden, 
that you can't remove your stakes. What you waste like the faucet. So it's here. So when we say law, we're talking about your words. So if you're earning uh, $50 and you lock it for 30 days, that $50 you're making every day, of course, if your compound is going up, but that money every day, you can't claim. So that's just going to get added. You're just going to have to add it to your principal. But that's helping you to actually grow faster in that compounding. But also a bonus. There's a bonus additional coins you for locking that get added to your principal based on how long you lock a reward. So what we're talking about is locking rewards, not, not your actual investment. Because that's automatic locks. You never remove what you put in the piggy bank. You can only close. But to increase your reward, you choose your lock up period. Now, get on there and join. Heck of stupid.
A lot, but you take a lot, but you can take a lot. So you can have a state 30 days, other percentage state for 60 days, and 90 days, and 180 days. So you can have rewards start to unlock every month, or you can have it where it's unlocked every week. Like have a stake unlock it every week. You can do it that way. Can't believe his love is like really messing my joint like that. Yeah, I'm taking at least twenty-five for support for a whole year. Yes. What if you're trying to do a longer term? Like if you're doing three years, I did the calculation and the numbers are like off the charts. Like it's I don't know they pay off if you do a three year thing. You're not paying off. You're just getting a bigger share. You're getting a big, bigger share of the money that that's in that. You don't want to, I mean, you your max count increases every time you compound. So over the course yeah. of years, you definitely want to be compounding during that, you know, period. So that way you can get the max payout and you can get this big ass reward in three years. Here's another reason, guys. The reason why you might want to launch a three year missile, right? I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you guys a, I'm going to give you guys a possibility. Do it. That chat is not there. Then look at that shit acting dumb.
Let's move on. I think that's long.